now we're going to move to the Cemetery Pro RGB mouse. The reason for that is because this one has macros compared to the keyboard that I have. This mouse has 12 micro buttons on the side that are fully programmable. To program them, you got to go to Actions, Plus, oh, Actions, and then Plus, and then select a micro. So for this one, you have to click on the micro and then click Record, and we'll hit R for Reload for a video game. And then click stop. So every time you hit one, it's the same as hitting R, essentially. And that's how you basically use your action keys and program macros through this driver. Um, you can also <coughs> extend the length by holding down the button. So let's say we click on two, click record, and hold in T and let go. It measures how much to, how eh, cut. <clears throat> it measures the time of how long you've held down the button for and implements it into a delay. So another way of adding delays is actually pressing and then going down to where it says add delays between all events consistent delay or you can add a random delay consistent's the one that's going to be on a dot with time random is going to be it's going to vary from zero to whatever number <clears throat> most of the time you're probably going to use consistent rather than random advanced settings going to have So if you're using the button for like example, if you're a shield and if you're a Montane shield in Rainbow Six Siege and you want to use a macro for holding his ability to extend his shield, what you would want to do instead of adding a delay, what you can do is um, have it to where it's either toggled or while pressed. Basically what this does is as long as you're holding down this macro, that shield will be extended. If you have it toggled, you hit it once, and then his ability is active. If you hit it again, it toggles off the ability. Repeat is if you want to have the action repeat itself. And then under start settings, you can have a sound that goes with it. Every time we hit two, that sound will be played. I don't know why this would be a an effect, but I mean, it's there for customizable reasons, I guess. And that's the basics of all the macros. Um, I'm not too sure what any of these do. You can, so this goes to profile switching, disabling the stuff, timers, when you hit a key, uh, key launch application. So if you hit like, I don't know, a macro for 12 on this mouse, you can have it set to an application to where it launches. Media is all the media buttons. Text, I'm not really sure what text does. And then remapping is like the keystrokes and languages and stuff and whatnot for the keys, for the keyboard. All right, and then it shows the different settings. So like right now it's on text, so it's setting on text. And that's going to be important for later for when I show you dashboard.